Good morning, everyone. Can you can you hear me? You can't hear me. Okay. I'll speak as loud as I can. And there is a mic here. I am Mary Ann Holak. I'm the director of the Senior Center. And I'm so happy that we could gather here today. Uh, and when we realized that we could not hold Senior Day in the park at Lynch Park this year, we decided we still wanted to hang on to one of our best traditions. And that tradition, of course, is naming a Senior of the Year for 2020. So with the help of the Council on Aging Board of Directors, represented here today by co-chair Bob Hobbs, we set about to accept nominations and select an individual who represents the ideal of the award. Someone who goes above and beyond to volunteer and support their community and is respected and loved by all. Once the decision was made, Claire Marie Hart, also our co-chair of the board, and a retired English teacher took on the job of writing the remarks I'm about to read. Leave it to an English teacher to start with a poem. The Perfect Woman by William Wardworth. The perfect woman nobly planned to teach, to comfort, and command. I think that sums up Peggy in just a couple of brief sentences. This year's Senior of the Year, Peggy Wilson, was born in Maine. She received her education in nursing in Portland, Maine, and moved to Beverly in 1956. She married her husband, O'Verne, also from Maine, and moved to Ryleside. She began then what was an almost 40-year career as an RN at Beverly Hospital. At the hospital, Peggy had a long and deeply fulfilling career on the labor and delivery ward. In addition to teaching thousands of parents to care for their newborns, she also instructed many new nurses and also trained and supervised the volunteers lucky enough to get assigned to the maternity floor. I know a little bit about something about that because I was the director of volunteers at the hospital. She was the only nurse who would say yes to having volunteers help her at, on the maternity ward. So thank you, Peggy. <laughs> While working, Peggy and O'Verne began a family. They and their children, Laurie, Linda, and Tom, and now two grandchildren, Beth and Eric uh, Ramsdell, share wonderful memories of growing up in Beverly and trips to their camp on Crescent Lake in Raymond, Maine. Peggy retired from the hospital in August of 1996, and about a month later found herself visiting the knitting group at the Beverly Senior Center. She had learned to knit from her mom, and now, with time on her hand, she turned back to the hobby she began as a child. The nurse became a knitter. Before long, Peggy was teaching newcomers how to knit and inevitably became the leader of the group. She helped her new friends in producing knitting and crochet items for newborns, including hats, blankets, and baby sweaters. And for special holidays, the babies always had a hat for the season. She took on the project of coordinating the knitters to make hats, mittens, and scarves to Beverly school children through the Women's Charitable Organization of Beverly, and also began sending homemade goods to Care Dimensions, Mass General, and Brigham and Women's Hospital. Imagine that in 2019, 2,721 handmade items were donated to hospitals, and that the Beverly Public Schools received 211 hat and mitten sets. Lest anyone be forgotten, she sourced the idea and items to make sure that every homebound Meals on Wheels client had a homemade gift for Christmas time. Peggy does have a secret helper, um, a gentleman by the name of Jim, who's here with us today, who runs an organization called Santa's Magic. So when Peggy has piles and piles of knit, knitted and crocheted goods, he comes and picks them up and delivers them to the Boston hospitals and to other places they're meant to be. So thank you, Jim, and Santa's Magic. In addition to all of that, Peggy served as a volunteer photographer at the Senior Center, capturing all the fun moments of parties and events we held. I understand that O'Verne accepted her role as photographer grudgingly, as he had always been the photographer in the family, <laughs> explaining he was the active member of the Beverly Camera Club and always stopping to take pictures that Peggy requested. Um, his love of photography must have rubbed off on you, Peggy. 
I think all would agree that this lovely, generous, kind, supportive woman has a wonderful gift for teaching and communicating with others. Her life remains joyful, pleasant, and constantly fulfilled. She con continuously gives of herself to others. With tremendous pride and gratitude, we present Margaret Peggy Wilson as the Beverly Senior Center's 2020 Senior of the Year. Now, I'm gonna, we're gonna do it this touchless, so I'm gonna hold it. We have some people in the audience who would like to congratulate you for this wonderful honor. Hello. And we're going to start with the Honorable Michael P. Cahill, our mayor. Hi, Peggy. How are you? Good. Good. Good morning. It's good to see everybody. Um, actually, the acoustics are probably better than they are sometimes at Lynch when you have everybody under the tent saying, I want to eat my lunch. So, uh, so Peggy, I have to say, um, this is exciting, and I'm, I'm glad to see you and, and your husband, and I see Tom, we chatted for a minute. Um, so I've got a proclamation to read. Um, I'm going to start to read it, and, and then I think I have a, 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 a remembrance for you as well. So, whereas Margaret Peggy Wilson was born and raised in Westbrook, Maine, Peggy attended nursing school at the Maine Medical Center in Portland, and moved to Beverly in 1956 to marry her husband, Auvergne. Peggy began a 40-year career as a registered nurse in the labor and delivery ward at Beverly Hospital. And here's my remembrance, because I think I first saw you when I was in college and refing summer soccer. And I think Auvergne coached and, and Tom played in the old league. And I think I remember first seeing you along the sidelines. But understanding now that you were working in the delivery room around the time I was born, maybe you remember seeing me sooner than that. So, <laughs> so, um, so anyway, it, it's, uh, it's so good to have you sitting up here. Whereas Peggy and her husband over and raised three children, Lori, Linda, and Tom, and have two grandchildren, Beth and Eric Ramsdell. She enjoyed many years traveling to the family camp on Crescent Lake in Raymond, Maine, enjoying time with her family. And whereas, and I know, um, Marianne has said this, but you deserve it being said a, a few times today. Whereas upon retirement, Peggy began volunteering at the Senior Center on Tuesday afternoons, joining the knitting and crocheting group. Peggy taught others how to knit. She and a group of dedicated volunteers have knitted and delivered baby hats, blankets and sweaters to newborns at Beverly and Salem hospitals. The group has all also donated Afghans, shawls and hand knit prayer squares to Care Dimensions Hospice Winchester Hospital, Dana-Farber, and Brigham and Women's Hospital. They have also provided hats, mittens, and scarves to Beverly High students, Beverly School students, and to the residents of the Girdler House and River House. And that's a lot. Now here's the fun part. We're going to name a, na name a day after you. So now, therefore, in recognition of her volunteer efforts and for inspiring others to be active in their community, Peggy Wilson has been selected as the 2020 Beverly Senior of the Year. In honor of this occasion, I, Michael P. Cahill, Mayor of Beverly, do hereby proclaim August 6, 2020 as Margaret Peggy Wilson Day in the city of Beverly. It is a, a very elite company of people that get a, name, a day named after them, Peggy. So I ask that all of us and all the citizens of Beverly Join me in extending our congratulations and sincere appreciation to you, Peggy, for all you do. I wish you a wonderful day. And here you are. I don't know who's taking a picture of this. There's Tom. Let's look at Tom right over here, Peggy. See you, Tom, right there? Let me do that. All right. Congratulations. Absolutely. During these times of quarantine, um, I haven't seen the mayor very much except by telephone, um, but leave it to the mayor to, of course, know all of Peggy's family. <laughs> and perhaps 
you were in the labor and delivery room when he was born, I think he said. <laughs> Could be, right? I think I just have a few more years on him. You were you were still up in Maine. <laughs> um, today we also have City Council President Paul Guancy here. So Paul. Thank you everyone and Peggy, congratulations. Um, the Senior Center forwarded your, uh, your biography to us on the City Council and I was amazed at everything that you've done. Uh, there's truly nobody more deserving than you this year. So I have a resolution for you, signed by everybody on the City Council, it says a lot of the same things the Mayor did. But as I was coming over here today, I thought about, wow, it's Senior Day in the Park and here we are at City Hall. And I said, geez, how can I make it a little special? So what I did is I went down to Gordon Fabrics uh, and they have the cat's meows of Beverly. And I thought, well, geez, why not bring Lynch Park here to City Hall? Um, so you'll have this to remember is that's where you should be today. But like everything else, we're making the best of the situation. And we have a few other little things in here for you. Uh, and everybody sends their best wishes. So thank you, Peggy. Peggy, I forgot to mention this. Next year, we'll be at Lynch Park, and we're going to have you come on up and help us um, present Senior of the Year to next year's Senior of the Year. Okay, we'll make it up to you. <laughs> I also pr I will promise you a cake for the knitting group when the knitting group's able to come back together again. So we'll have a party for all the knitters. We only have a few of them with us today. Um, so Brendan McCarthy is here today, and he's representing um, uh, Representative Paracella and also Senator Joan Lovely. Thank you for being here today, Brendan. Uh, so I'm here, like she said, representing uh, Representative Paracella and Senator Lovely. Uh, regretfully, I couldn't be here today, but I'm under strict instruction from both of them to extend my congratulations to you. Uh, I haven't been with the office very long, but I know, as well as everyone in the office knows, that Senior Day in the Park and Senior of the Year is very important perhaps the most important event we'll go to all year so I'm glad that in spite of uh, COVID-19 we were able to have this ceremony and take the chance to recognize you as the senior of the year Peggy. Uh, so I'll just read the citation from the legislature. Uh, Be it known that the Massachusetts legislature hereby extends its congratulations to Margaret Peggy Wilson in recognition of being named the 2020 senior of the year by the city of Beverly. Be it further known that the Massachusetts legislature extends its best wishes for continued success, that this citation be duly signed by the President of the Senate and attested and a copy thereof submitted by the Clerk of the Senate. Congratulations. And next we have a representative from uh, the Essex County Sheriff's Department, um, Sheriff, uh, Kevin Coppinger, and we have Maurice Mo Pratt, he's the Assistant Superintendent of the Assistant Super of Essex County Sheriff's Department. Mo. Thank you. Uh, thank you and good morning everybody. Um, uh, on behalf of uh, Sheriff Kevin F. Coppinger, Peggy, uh, and all of us at the Essex County Sheriff's Department, we want to congratulate you on this very special day uh, to be selected as the 2020 Senior of the Year. Uh, and I have a citation that I'll read in just a minute, but I, I have to say, um, I don't know you very well, Peggy. I, I, I wish I did know you better. Uh, and I read your bio, uh, and somebody a lot smarter than me said, uh, sometimes you just know one thing about a person, and that tells you all you need to know. And uh, I read about the thousands of, of hats and blankets and prayer squares that you and the Tuesday night, uh, Tuesday uh, knitting group did. Uh, and that was all wonderful. But then I read about you received a, uh, a donation, two donations, one of $500 and one of $100. And somebody said, this is great. Let's have a party for the knitting group. And Peggy, as the head of the knitting group, said, nope, nope. We'll take that money and we'll buy supplies so that we can make even more items for those in need. 
Uh, and that kind of sums up how you are, Peggy. So, so thank you for all you do. Really, wonderful. Uh, and now I will read the, uh, the citation from the Essex County Sheriff's Department and from uh, Sheriff Carpenter. Margaret Peggy Wilson, Beverly Senior of the Year, 2020. In recognition and appreciation for your outstanding contri contributions to the Beverly Senior Center, your passion to inspire, teach, and organize groups at the Senior Center and outside communities is an inspiration to the many lives you've touched. With heartfelt congratulations and sincere appreciation for your exemplary commitment to helping others. Kevin F. Coppinger, August 6, 2020. Thank you very much. Can we get a picture of you? Thank you, Mo, um, and thank you for that story as well. Um, we indeed received $600 of donations this year towards the knitting group, one from a gentleman who was at uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital for three weeks, and he received a, a blanket, an Afghan, from our knitters group. And his daughter called me and said, my dad wants to make a donation. And when I received the donation and saw that it was for $500, I was the one who said, let's have a party. <laughs> Um, but Peggy wouldn't have that. She really wanted to buy more uh, knitting needles and yarn for her group. So thank you, Peggy. Um, the other person who sent a $100 donation was at Mass General Hospital. And her daughter had received an orange and black Beverly Colors Afghan. Um, and her daughter had been born at Beverly Hospital and had um, graduated from Beverly High School. So that family was very touched to receive that, that blanket from Knitters, knitters Group. Um, I have Ruth Lindsay here today, who's the director of the Retired Senior Volunteer Program. And I'm going to ask her to come up and, and just say congratulations to Peggy. And we're almost done. <laughs> Whew, what a hot day. Or, I, I don't know if everyone can hear me, but um, I have a very quiet voice, so I'll do my best. But. Uh, it's really just such an honor for me to be here, invited to this, and to be able to congratulate Peggy, who I met about five years ago. Um, and also, I'm proud to say I introduced her to Mr. Nentwig and Santa's Magic, who I've known for about 10 years. So um, the RSVP Volunteer Program helps to, to collect all the knit items, and Peggy has She's volunteered over 3,000 hours in just the last four years for our program alone. So that just tells you, you know, what she's doing at home is not just um, watching television or doing all the, the things that we all have to get done all every day. She's also knitting um, incredibly beautiful items. And I'm so honored to, to be associated and to know you, Peggy, and all the knitters at the Beverly Senior Center. So, you know, thank you. I went to, to the Leonard's to pick out a plant for you and I thought you would be much better picking it out yourself. So we, we have a citation for you. Um, it's very, it's really a certificate that just honoring you for being Beverly Senior of the Year. Thank you for your loyalty, dedication and outstanding volunteer service. And everybody said it so eloquently. And, you know, I'm just so overjoyed that you are receiving this this award this year. I live in Beverly and I'm really proud of you and so happy. You were probably there for my children when they were born and I, I didn't know it at the time. So thank you and congratulations. I also would like to recognize Chief Lalesha, our Chief of Police in Beverly and our Chief of the Fire Department, Paul Cotter, thank you for being here today. Would either of you like to say something? I know you've been working really extra hard in overtime during this pandemic, and I thank you um, for helping all of the people of Beverly um, in your response to them and their need. And I thank you um, for being here in spite of some of the critics of your department. Um, we really appreciate all that you do for our seniors in Beverly, so thank you. Um, 
And Bruce Doig is here. He's our Director of Community Services. So thanks for being here, Bruce. Um, is there anyone else I'm missing? I think we're good. Um, Peggy, it's been such a joy to be able to know you at the hospital and at the Senior Center and to see all of the knitted goods that come through my office every year. And Peggy, Peggy actually counts every single item that comes through. So, and at the end of every year, she gives me a typewritten report of all the different uh, knitted and crocheted items that um, they have collected and made over the year and where they have been distributed to. So I appreciate your diligence and your patience with new knitters because she's a great teacher of the new knitters. And I happen to just um, bump into Peggy and another knitter outside of the senior center one day. Peggy had made this most incredible christening outfit for this woman's brand new gr um, grandchild. And they were making the swap in front of the senior center since our building has been closed since March. But Peggy, thank you for everything you do. I can't wait to have you and O'Vern back in, in the center. Um, he helps every Tuesday. Yeah. He carries in all of her bags of yarn and all of her knitted materials. So thank you for your support and your help and teaching her how to take a good picture as well. Thank you, O'Vern. Um, so we're gonna conclude our ceremonies. Um, for our invited guests, we do have um, a lunch for you if you'd like one um, to take with you um, and we, we'll conclude our ceremony. Thank you so much. Would you like to say anything? Do you want to say something? Okay, she wants to say something. We're not going to conclude till she says something. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to thank everybody for being here. I wish I knew who you all were. <laughs> um, you want to take off your mask for this, all right? So I can hear you better. Yeah, there you go. But never in my wildest dreams did I think I would be in this position. I've been at the park year after year and uh, thought what a great uh, thing it was for somebody to receive that honor. And now, here I am with my friends and my family. And again, thank you all very, very much. Okay. Yay! Do you want to sit again? Or do you want to go? Did you spy me? Yeah, she just, she just spied you. You want to come up? Peggy's sister came down from um, another state. I won't say what state. Because <laughs> they might not let her back in. <laughs> <laughs> she might have. <laughs> uh, elbow. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs>